Hello, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic people. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm really lucky that I've been doing physics for a relatively long time now, and there's still so many things that just totally blow my mind. And this experiment is one of them. It's called Wilson's Cloud Chamber, and I'll let my friend Jules explain what it is. Uh, well, what it is, is a box. It's a glass or plastic box. With a bunch of uh, alcohol, uh, alcohol vapor to be precise. And we also cool down the bottom of this box with liquid nitrogen. So what's really cool about this is that there is this alcohol vapor that is super saturated. So it really wants to become alcohol liquid rather than alcohol gas. So that's what a Wilson's Cloud Chamber is. It is basically a glass box with a bunch of alcohol vapor floating around and a really cold floor. But what's amazing about it is not what it is, but what it does. And what it does is that it allows us to see radioactivity. So that stick is a stick of thorium. And thorium is really special because uh, it has uh, the property of being radioactive. And those wisps of clouds that you can see are trails left behind the alpha and beta decay coming off the thorium. When the radiation comes smashing through and it ionizes the alcohol, it allows it all to clump together. And so that makes a cloud. And we can see this cloud. And the thickness of the cloud is related to the type of particle that is being emitted. If it's beta or alpha decay. Alpha decay is very ionizing, so it's a very short and thick cloud, while beta decay is quite a bit less ionizing, so it can travel for longer, but the cloud is a lot thinner. Every once in a while, you could also see a cosmic ray shoot through the cloud chamber, but we didn't catch any this filming session. I said at the beginning of this video that this experiment totally blows my mind. And I think the main reason for that is because it allows us to see what is usually unseeable. It allows us to glimpse at the fundamental building blocks of our world and see its structure and how it interacts. And to be able to do all of this with such simple equipment is just incredible. This is one of the reasons I love physics so much. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all very soon.